Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. So today we're going to be working on the 2008 Hyundai Santa Fe which is right behind me there. A very exciting car I might add. It's an SUV 3.3 liter V6 and it's for sale if you want it. Please buy this car. No really it's not a bad car at all. Hyundai's are now very reliable but today my brake pads are worn out and I'm replacing all the brake pads on this vehicle front and back and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now I haven't watched any videos on how to do this or received any instructions whatsoever so I'm going in totally blind here which is the, the more exciting way to do any job and uh, so whatever problems I encounter will be the first time for me first time for you. This could be very exciting. Let's get after it. First of all these are the brake pads I got AC Delco which I thought that was GM but maybe they make brake pads for anybody and uh, I paid a total of 154 Canadian dollars you Americans will pay a lot less I believe but I got the rear disc brakes pads and the front disc brake pads this is what's in the box you've got your rear brake pads and a whole set of shims which is kind of nice and for the front front brake pads and a full set of shims very good okay here are the tools that you're going to need to do this job uh, a way to get the wheel off and of course I've got it all jacked up it's all safely supported that's a very important thing because you don't want to be an idiot and get crushed by your own car okay so bungee cord to hold the caliper up uh, to prevent strain on its brake line after we get it off this strange looking thing is a C-clamp. It's a very handy thing to have. You should have one. This is going to help us push back the piston into the caliper because of course the piston comes out as the brake pads wear and with new brake pads are going to be bigger so you got to push the piston back into the caliper. That can be done with a C-clamp maybe also with these pump adjustable pliers. A torque wrench to make sure you get the right torque on the caliper bolts when you reassemble which I believe is 25 foot-pounds uh, some sort of prying device and of course 14 millimeter socket to get the caliper bolts off. I've strategically chosen the hottest part of the day to do this job because that makes it more fun. It is a very hot day here in Vancouver, Canada. There's a heat wave that's gone across the northwest uh, and so therefore this is the best day to do this job. Okay and to make it even more exciting I'm going to try to do this job as fast as possible to see what you can do an amateur doing the front and rear brake pads on a 2008 Santa Fe. The first thing you have to do is get the wheels off the car. Okay, the next thing to do is to get off the caliper bolts. There's two of them, one behind right here and one behind the caliper here. Now these are not put on too tight so you should be able to do this uh, with a regular wrench. They are loose. There's one. There's the other. Then we got to take our caliper off. It should come straight off. There we go. We're going to support it with this bungee cord uh, so that there's no strain on the on the um, you know brake uh, brake line. There you go. Support it. Then we take out the old brake pads. That should just slide out. There we go. That's the front. And as you can see, they're fairly worn. Not much left of these at all. And the back one comes out easily. As you see, it's got a wear indicator. As you see, it's got a wear indicator right here, and it's just touching, just touching the metal. So it was high time to change these brake pads. Okay. Okay, calipers off. Now what's great about this kit is it comes with your new brake pads, but it also comes with new shims, brand new shims, uh, to replace these old looking rusty ones right here. So that means that we can take these right the heck out. Right the heck out. 
just like that. And the new ones are gonna go in right in here. Now these shims are very similar, but there is something I noticed, and that is, they're exact except for one thing. This little, this little tab right here is bent in a slightly different angle from this one and uh, making it a little hard for this shim to go in. So I'm going to bend these a little bit this way, a little bit this way, uh, to help make this fit. Now it should fit in no problem at all. Okay, now that we have the shims in, what I do is add a little bit of high temperature grease just at the sliding surfaces on either end. Now we put our new brake pads in. Now, the wear indicator goes on the inside pad because that's the way they had it when I took it off. You gotta push the pad into its slot at the back and in, right? Right like that. Take our front pad into the slot at the bottom and then in at the top there, just like that. Brake pads are in. Now we gotta put the caliper back on, but as you can see, the pistons have extended out and now we have to push these back in. Um, and they have rubber seals around the piston here and we're gonna try lubricating that just to make sure they stay pliable. And the best thing to use for that is silicone spray. Uh, regular oil will degenerate the rubber, but a silicone spray will not. Just like that. Now, we're going to push the pistons back in using our C-clamp here. All you got to do is apply some pressure. And the piston will go right back in. That one's bottomed out. Now we've got one piston in, now we got to do the other one. It's going in. They're both in, nothing to worry about is how high is your brake fluid level. As you can see, I'm getting up to max right here. Uh, if you've recently filled your brake uh, reservoir, you've got to make sure it's not going to overflow at this point. If it's too high, you're going to have to take some fluid out. Um, no one's ever put more fluid in this recently, so therefore, the level is just going to go right up to max after all the brakes are done, I predict. Now that the pistons are all fully seated, we can take off our clamp. We can undo our bungee cord and put this right back over the pads. There you go. There you go. Just that easy. We're going to put our two caliper bolts in. And using a torque wrench, we make sure the caliper bolts are at 25 foot-pounds. So not a lot, but you got to make sure. There we go. Okay, the front is done. Now we move on to the back. The back is substantially the same as the front. Uh, caliper is a little bit smaller. It's a single piston. Uh, on the Hyundai Santa Fe 2008, we have a very simple system here, which is making this a quick and easy job. First of all, we take off the caliper bolts. That one's loose.
Eh? This one's loose. They'll come up by hand the rest of the way. We just take out our caliper, just like so, support it with the bungee cord. Just lever out the brake pads. Oh, that's really worn. And this is also really worn, right on the marker, right on the marker right there. Okay, and we, as the front, we can get rid of these metal clips. We've got new ones. And out you come. Out you come. There we go. Here's our two new brake pads. They look good. And brand new shiny clips. Okay, should fit in just like that. And then the top one goes in just like that. Just like the front, we're going to put a little bit of high temperature grease just on the contact surfaces where it's going to be touching the brake pads where they're going to actually be sliding a little bit. There we go. And as at the front, the wear indicator pad goes in the back. Just pop it in. That went in easy. Front brake pad, just pop it in. Yes, yes, I love it. And of course, we've got to push in our caliper piston. Uh, so we're gonna do it the same way we did it before. We're also gonna lubricate the rubber surface. So we're gonna push the piston back in, lubricate the rubber with a little bit of silicone. And we should be able to get this in really quick going in <clears throat> bit of a workout push 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 okay that's on the bottom take this out take off the bungee cord slide it over the pads And you might have to push this little doodad in a little bit. There you go. Push this doodad in and it's lined up. We're ready to put the bolts back in. Okay, first bolt. Tighten by hand. Second bolt in by hand. Tighten it up and use a torque wrench to make sure that we are at 25 foot pounds on this. All right, so the rear passenger side brake caliper pad replacement job is done, as is the front. So now I just have to do the other side, the same way we did this side. This job was so easy, I even had time to paint the calipers. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. One more thing, before you drive the car, always make sure that you pump up the brake pedal uh, to make sure the pistons are fully uh, pushed into contacting the brake pads. All I gotta do is just press, push the brake pedal a few times and you'll be good to go. And you can see our brake level is just slightly below max, perfect. All right, there you have it. The brake job is done. All four wheels, new brake pads on my 2008 Hyundai Santa Fe. Okay, so this whole job took me less than one hour to do. That's right, less than one hour to do. Uh, so this car is extremely easy to work on. Please do this job yourself. Uh, do not give four to $500 to a dealership or to a, a shop to get this work done. You can do it yourself, obviously.
So for $150 or less, the job is done. So thanks for watching. And oh, by the way, it's almost July 4th. So happy birthday to my American listeners. Happy birthday indeed. All right, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.